can't go into too much detail about a client's website because I don't have permission. But all of these blog posts with 2024 in the URL handle were written by the auto blogger that I'm going to be showing you how to use in this video. Now this is Two Men, the website that I talk about a lot. The website before was a different website that I, uh, like I said, I don't have permission to talk about it. But a lot of these articles were written with the auto blogger as well. I originally released the auto blogger and didn't even know if the content would rank. But I did say in the original video that I was 99.99% .99 sure that this content would rank and it is ranking. So this is what the output of this auto blogger looks like. We have a title, we have a table, and then we have an article with images already uh, put into the article. Now, this isn't quite an auto blogger in the traditional sense that it will post to Shopify for you. You could easily set that up, but I still haven't set that up for this particular auto blogger. So if you go to the GitHub link in the description, it will bring you to this page right here. This is the ChatGPT Assistant Auto Blogger. This uses the Assistance API and it uses um, like a your sitemap of your products and um, a content plan in order to create content. So first thing we're going to need is Visual Studio Code. You will also need uh, Python. So download Python. And we will go to file, sorry, we'll go to terminal, new terminal, and we'll do git clone, uh, we'll call this, I don't know what I'm going to write here, I'm just going to write jelly because I don't know what else to write. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, it's a very, very small file, so now we cd into jelly, which means we're inside, it means change directory, so we're now inside the jelly file, and then we'll click file, open folder, hit J, hit J again, hit J again, and then select folder. Okay. So now we have the auto blogger. Now we're going to be using testing 3.py. Uh, I did actually update this. I had a lot of people asking me to update this. This thing is an absolute beast. It writes amazing content. The way it works is it takes an input of a, of, um, a content plan, and what you can do is you can take the first line of this, so like this, and we could use something, we could use something like the topical authority generator. So I'm actually going to be specific. I'm going to say, please use the following um, markdown out, um, output and formatting to format the... Uh, blog post plan and then we can say the niche is i don't know classic menswear so yeah like you can see this is giving me a good one but i'm going to stop it and say just give me it in its own markdown table formatted like this okay so once you've got you can all another thing you can do is you can just take the top line of this and just put it into a normal chat gpt and just say, um, give me a content plan for a website about classic menswear using this format. You could use Bing in order to get information, etc., etc. There's many, many ways to do this. Okay, um, but this is a using the topical authority generator is a really, really good way to do it. So then you can just copy this. You can just press copy code here, and then you can Control A, Control V like that. Um, I'm just going to keep my, um, my one like this. I'm just going to delete a few. So there's only, there's only one line. So this is the content plan. You can make this yourselves. It just has to be in this order. Topic cluster, topic type, blog post ideas, keywords, word count. That's literally it. And then we'll save that. The next one is internal links.txt. I do highly recommend using a .txt file for this. So go to two men or go to your website slash uh, sitemap.xml. I'm obsessed with collections. If you know, you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I focus on collections. And then I'm going to be using something called sitemap to clipboard. So just get this Google Chrome extension. It's very, very useful. Click on it. Click HTTPS and then just press start. And that will get all of your internal links. Open a notepad. 
uh save it like that another thing you can do is you can just control a control v and then control s to save inside here so you can just change the internal links document you don't have to drag this into here you can just replace internal links.txt the content inside it with your content as well okay and then we have the products the way that i do this is i use um i use a script basically to read the sitemap so this is the Python script, two man test.py. This script reads the sitemap. All you have to do is just uh, basically go to your sitemap again, go to your product sitemap if you're on Shopify. Another thing you can do, by the way, if you're not on Shopify, is you can just change the script using ChatGPT to say, um, instead of reading the sitemap, just read my collection page or my um, product category page. So collection. Let's say you're on WordPress. I know this is Shopify, but pretend this is a WordPress category. You can make a script that will read this page and take the product images instead. There are a few different things you can do if you're not on Shopify. You could even just manually pick them up. But if you're on Shopify, go to your product sitemap, right click, save as. Uh, make sure it's saved as an XML document like that, and then press save. And then click on the downloads folder like this. Start to drag it and then press Alt Tab once and then drag it into here. And then you have your sitemap. You can do two things. I I would probably say it's easier to, if you don't know what you're doing, um, to right click my sitemap. So the one that comes with the GitHub and press copy relative path and then delete it. And then right click your sitemap, rename and then control V and then just delete the .xml. What that does is it puts your sitemap inside the script without you having to touch the script. Another thing you can do, if you don't want to do it like that, is you can right click your sitemap, copy relative path, copy between these two um, inverse commas, whatever the hell they're called, and then control V, control S to save. And then if we run two men test.py, what this script actually does is it chooses like 100 random products. I think it's 100. It's 200 random products. So you can do that, um, and then basically you just have to put them in products.txt. So again, what you can do is you can start from the bottom here, drag all the way up, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Control C, you have to let go of your mouse before you do Control C. Click inside here, Control A, Control V, and there you go. That's products.txt. I would recommend having about 800 lines of images just because anything more than that it kind of gets a little bit confusing so now if as long as you haven't changed any of the names of these files it should just run okay so let's see best men's t-shirt brands so we would expect the output here to just have um t-shirts in I'm going to do another example, best men's blazers, blazer brands. Let's just change this to blazer, save that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do Python testing 3.py, and then we'll run the code. So while that's running, oh, I haven't set my, uh, haven't set my API key there. Okay, I'll be deleting this API key, so there's no point trying to copy it. Now we run Python testing 3.py. This should immediately work. There shouldn't be any problems. If there is a problem, Hamish will be angry. So it should say function get internal links at and then processing blog posts. Now what you want to do is open ChatGPT 3.5. And you can also open ChatGPT 4 in order to do the featured image. Now this is why it's not quite an autoblogger. I could easily make this into an autoblogger that posts automatically to your website. But I think that the, the human element of checking the content and making sure it's good and making the featured image is still a necessary step in content creation. You might disagree with that, in which case I probably will update this at some point to automatically upload to your website. It is just a little bit more complicated though. So we have the outline here. So you can see it says outline for best men's t-shirt brands. Now, I'm not quite sure why, but the first attempt of writing an article is normally not that good. It gets better and better and better. So the second article is where, that's why I did two in the content plan. 
The second article is where the content starts to get a little bit better. Now, while this is loading, I guess what we can do is we can take a deep dive into what this is actually doing and how you can change this. So because I made this with ChatGPT, this entire script was made with ChatGPT. If you just read the comments here, the hashtags, it will tell you what it's doing, okay? So first of all, we set the OpenAI key, then we open the OpenAI client, and then we upload files. So we upload the internal links.txt, the products.txt, and the two men content plan expanded.csv. And then from that, include at least three product image URLs in the final article. This first uh, one is the assistant, okay? So when you program your own custom GPT, this is what you actually send to um, the GPT API. So all of my custom GPTs, this is what they did, but I just did it in the front end of ChatGPT. And you can see it only has retrieval activated. There is no um, code interpreter. One second, we have our first article here. So let's see what this looks like. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. You are very cute, but please stop meowing. I've almost finished the video. So I'm going to say, please format this article properly. Why are you staring at me? Uh, meow. Okay, so we can see we have H1. Then we have key takeaways. We have internal links, internal links, which are all proper internal links, no 404s. And then sometimes the images don't load on ChatGPT uh, right now. I'm not actually sure why. But we can see that overall we have an article with, we can do find CDN. We have four images. It looks like four images and a crap ton of internal links. So yeah, you can see this is super, super powerful. And I do have proof that this is ranking on Google um, now, just for the people that said, oh, you need to show proof. Don't ever say that you can rank on Google without showing proof. I mean, I thought that I had more kind of trust with my viewers than that uh, but obviously some people always want to see evidence which is fair enough so what else does this do this is the assistant so if you want to create what the assistant is doing you can change line where under where it says hashtag create an assistant basically the instructions that's the prompt okay then this is just <clears throat> like a bit of logic to make sure that the first run has finished before the second run starts and then the second run this one chooses the internal links. So never invent internal links or product images. Choose five internal links and five product images that are relevant to blog post idea. So this is how I get it to write about, you know, whatever it has to write about. It's super, super interesting stuff. This took me a long, long time to program, okay? It took me probably a week. And what I was originally doing was I was starting the assistant, creating the outline, and then writing the blog post. But I realized that that didn't work. It needs to, first of all, choose the images and the internal links and then create the outline and then write the article. This works a lot better. And we will look at cost at the end of this video, just so you know, if you're curious how much this costs. The rest of it is not that important. It's just this one here if you want to change what the content looks like. But I, I honestly wouldn't. This thing is super, super, super consistent okay it's probably the most consistent i've seen of any kind of chat gpt writer or autoblogger please format this post properly now so let's see what this one looks like exquisite blazes for men i'm doing this live so if it messes up yeah it, it, then it messes up let's see if it actually manages to post a picture of a blazer it normally does so i'm kind of excited to see what happens here like I said before, sometimes the images do not work on ChatGPT. Sometimes the images just are incorrect links as well. That can happen. So just be careful with that as well. There we go. So we have jeans. We have a blazer. That's fine. Jeans and a blazer. This one hasn't worked. There's probably just a slight problem with the link, which, I mean, you could easily fix that. So, yeah, there, there seems to be a problem here. Uh, something's gone wrong with that link specifically. But that's okay. That can happen. This is why I do the human testing element of this. So I would just remove this or change this image, make sure that this um, internal link is is working properly. I don't actually know what's happened here. I would probably just take this. Uh, this is also a 404. 
So this is why you have to be careful, guys. You do have to check these things. Sometimes there are 404s. Sometimes the images don't work. I would highly recommend checking everything you do. But the end result is an article that could easily rank on Google. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This thing can write infinite articles. You could have a thousand lines on this blog post. And let's just, the final thing I want to check is the cost of this. Because that is a very, very, very valid question. So let's go to usage here. I shouldn't have, should not have used the API today, except for this, Monday the 15th. So those two articles cost less than 10 cents. Okay, so just let that sink in for a second. Those two articles that I just wrote cost less than 10 cents. I don't know what I was doing last night, $21, but so yeah. I really, really hope that this inspires you to at least look at the script because it does work very, very well. It works better than custom GPTs. Obviously, if you can't code, you're stuck using custom GPTs. I've got a load of articles now ranking using this exact methodology. Oh, I was writing guest posts. That's what it was. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching till the end, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.